Bursa Thunder 380. This is one of the most popular little small medium priced pistols out on the market. It's not tiny like the Micro 380s, but yet it's small enough to conceal carry very easily. And one good thing about these pistols, and from all that I've seen, all that I've read, all the reviews, is that these pistols are very reliable. Now first thing we're going to do is double check to make sure the gun isn't loaded, and it is. It's the original founders of Bursa were engineers at Beretta before they came to Argentina. Now these guns are made in Argentina which has a pretty strong firearms industry and I just reviewed the the BP9 concealed carry. This is the Thunder 380 concealed carry. It's there's a lot of differences between this and the standard uh, Thunder 380. And the one thing is is that it's very well rounded off and you can see a lot of the edges it's a very minimal handgun which of course makes it excellent for concealed carry. Uh, it's got a bobbed hammer, the beaver tail is brought in quite a bit, the grips are thinner, uh, the sights are a lot smaller profile, and we're going to look at all the details in a second. Uh, one of the things too though is that it's added an extra round of the magazine. You get 8-in-1 instead of the standard 7-in-1 with the Thunder 380. It has a steel slide with an alloy frame, and the grips are a polymer composite, very comfortable in the hand, again not too super thick, uh, but still thicker than a lot of your Micro 380s. Because of the ergonomics of the grip and the light recoil from the 380, this is a lot of fun to shoot. I read somewhere where they said that it was a little snappy, I didn't find that at all. This is a very uh, pleasurable gun to take to the range to shoot and that's really important because a lot of people will buy these little LCPs or the little Smith & Wesson bodyguards. They're pretty thin and they're not a lot of fun after about 50 rounds. You really need to have something you're very comfortable shooting. Now it has a magazine disconnect safety so I'm going to have to enter the magazine or the gun will not even function. Now it is a blowback design and that means that when the round is fired it just forces the slide into the rear position and then it feeds another round. This is a hammer fired pistol. Right here you see the bobbed hammer. Uh, this You can get to the hammer by just pulling. There is enough to be able to get to it, but it does keep from snagging, which is really important. When you pull the trigger, you activate the hammer, and you can see the hammer coming back. You have a shot, and then the slide will come back, and then it's in single action mode, which means the hammer is in the rear position, and that makes a lot shorter trigger pull, and then subsequent shots will also bring the hammer back. Uh, that leads us to the trigger pull, and that first double action trigger pull is pretty hefty, but one of the things about it, it's really smooth. Uh, I would say it's probably about a 10 to 12 pound trigger pull. It's pretty stout, but again, very smooth. The single action trigger pull is really nice. In fact, there's a little bit of take up right there, and then you have a good little squeeze. I would say that's about a four and a half pound trigger. So as far as the trigger pull itself, it's very smooth and very easy to get shot, second follow-up shots. As far as reset goes, pretty quick on single action. So you're going to get a quick single action shot and then a quick reset. When the hammer is in the rear position, you have a decocker. And what this does, it releases the hammer. It brings it into the down position. Now you have a safe gun. In fact, this is not only a decocker, but this is also a safety. So when I pull the trigger, no action. I have to manually cock the decock back, and then I have action. Once I decock the pistol, and then put it back on fire, this is a safe way to carry it. 
It's just like carrying a double action revolver. You have enough trigger pull right here to make it safe. You've got to really mean to pull that trigger. It also has an external lock safety right here. There's a small little key that's included with the pistol. Right here is your safety. It just goes in and you turn it. And then what that does, it puts it on safe or fire, and you see the little notch. And this is great for, you know, storing your handgun if you want to keep it from being able to be fired. And it locks the trigger down. I'm not really a big fan of these. It adds something a little bit extra to the pistol, and uh, this just goes in a junk drawer. Now the composite grips have a very nice texturing to them, not too aggressive, small little dots, and then you have an area right here that your finger fits through, um, and it goes either way, so it, it mirrors it on the same side. Uh, again, the beaver tail really helps to keep you from getting slide bite right here, and this is obviously muted more than the standard Thunder 380. Here on the back we have serrations along the back strap of the grip. Uh, the front strap is really just finger grooves here, and these are molded in uh, to the frame and then cut with the grips. It really has a very nice ergonomic feel to the gun. It fits well in the hand. If you have really large hands, that may be a problem, but really, this is going to fit very well. In fact, I can get all three of my fingers onto the grip. And, of course, this little panel right here helps with that. Uh, one of the things about the standard Thunder 380 is it has a little thumb rest right here, which is missing on this gun. But really, if I'm going to carry this concealed, I'd rather that not be there anyway. And there are also serrations right here on the front of the trigger guard. The slide stop right here, it holds the slide into place. And, of course, this will stay open after the last round is fired. And then, of course, you can bring that down. There's also a firing pin inertia safety in here. So this gun has multiple safeties. Now, one of the things I found is that the decocker can be pretty stiff, especially if the hammer's back. But once you start working it some, it's not, it gets better and better. In fact, when I first got it, I was having a little bit of trouble getting that decock down. You'd have to really get a hold of it. But once I've shot it, once I've handled it quite a bit, it's starting to loosen up just a little bit. Now it has some very low profile sights. In fact, they're almost embedded into the slide. You can see, but the three dots really help pick this up. In fact, I was really able to get really good shots at the range. The weight is 17.6 ounces. Now on the standard Thunder 380, it weighs about 20 ounces. So they shaved a little bit of the weight off. Um, overall length is six inches. Overall height is just four and a half inches. And the width slide is one inch. It has a steel magazine with a polymer base pad. Again, it is eight and one. Now, one of the things that it says on the Bursa website is these are not interchangeable with the standard Bursa Thunder 380 seven or nine round magazines. So you're gonna have to have dedicated eight plus one uh, for your handgun. Another thing, and this is really a downside, is you only get one magazine. Breakdown is really simple. We're gonna double check to make sure the gun isn't loaded. Uh, just take this lever right here, pull it down in the down position, pull your slide back and up, and off it goes. Here's your recoil spring. It's a fixed barrel design, which is usually typical for your blowback pistols. And this really lends to accuracy. The barrel is very stable and it stays into place. Very reminiscent of the PPK or again the Beretta Cheetah. The chamber and the feed ramps have been micro polished and the rifling in this pistol has really strong rifling. In fact, they pride themselves in really making this barrel uh, set up for accuracy. Even though it's a small handgun, it's still going to give you decent accuracy. And if you've ever shot any of the Walther pistols, the P-Series or the PPK, those pistols, even though very small, are very accurate, and that has a lot to do with this barrel design and the quality of the barrel. To reassemble, just reattach your spring over the barrel. Bring your slide in, bring it back, and then get it over those back uh, slide rails. Now, because of the magazine disconnect safety, it disengages the trigger. So to make sure that we have everything in line, everything's in place. A couple of side notes about the Thunder 380 is typically the decocker can be a little hard to manage originally, like I've stated. Uh, the finish is good, and the more that you use it and work with it, the more it seems to polish out. Uh, but when you first get it, it's nice and acceptable, but it is for what it is. I mean, these guns run uh, about $288 on the street, 
And so, you know, for under $300, uh, you're still getting an excellent pistol. And this is a little larger than your standard 380s, especially nowadays that all the micro 380s have come out. But one of the things about those pistols is they're very hard to shoot. Sometimes they're finicky with ammo. And that's one of the things great about this pistol is the whole time we were at the range, there were no malfunctions. Uh, we had no issues at all. Uh, and the accuracy on this pistol is going to be superior to many of your really small micro 380s. Not bad accuracy. Seven yards, HPR, jacketed hollow point 380 ammunition, easy to see targets. To demonstrate the loaded chamber indicator, I needed to do it at the range because I didn't have any 380 dummy rounds. Right here, this little bar, once we pop it into place, it's going to be red. And right here, you can see the little red lever popping out. Comes a little cardboard box with the owner's manual, of course the key. Uh, no extra magazine, but it does come with a spent shell from the factory, and um, that's pretty much it, but it keeps the cost down, so I don't mind the cardboard box. But one thing I do like about Bursa is they do have a lifetime service contract, so anything goes wrong with your pistol, you can send it back to Bursa, and they'll take care of it. The Thunder 380 concealed carry comes in this matte black. It also comes in a hard satin chrome finish, and then it comes in a duotone finish with black and silver. And of course, you can go to the Bursa website and check that out. And you know, with the new self-defense loads that are coming out, 8-1 and one and a 380 is still very effective. But just remember, shot placement, that's key. Really a nice little shooter, great for concealed carry. I have to give it a big thumbs up. And again, to all my Argentine friends, muchas gracias for watching. Muy excelente. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Tell me that's not a trick.